Graham here and today I want to show you some of the features on the Neat Pad. That is the device you put outside the room for scheduling and being able to find your rooms, book rooms, book some other features, report some feedback with these line of business applications. So let's check it out. So the Neat Pad that is outside the room can be used with any Microsoft Teams rooms or any meeting space, doesn't matter as long as you've got that Microsoft Teams license on there. So we have the ability to have some Teams applications on here. So down the bottom left corner, we have some line of business applications. So for example, I've got a room cleaner that sends an alert. Uh, we've got a feedback survey. Uh, another example I've got is coffee ordering. So there's limitless ideas on what you can do there. So in the panel today, uh, we have a new feature that we're able to click on the uh, settings now and be able to pair it with our Microsoft Teams room. So let's just go into this settings. And we go into Teams Admin. So the other thing we need to make sure is that we have Bluetooth turned on. And this is for uh, pairing. So we go into our Teams Admin settings. We can define our wallpapers. Uh, so they can, this, they, they can be set here. Or they can also be set within the uh, configuration policy within uh, Teams Admin Center. But here we have uh, meetings. And we've got the check-in feature. So we can uh, do the room release uh, if no one checks in. Uh, but we are, what we want to do is pair our devices. So what we have now is that we've discovered the neat frame and we click on there. And as you can see in the background just behind me, it's now got a six digit code on there. So we'll enter that in. So that's now asking us to pair. And we're all set now. So we've now paired the scheduling panel with the device outside the room. And now you can see we have a new feature send check-in notifications. So this will mean when I get to the room, have my scheduled meeting, I will have to check in. Uh, and also if you have a camera with people counting, uh, you can also send the alerts there. So now we've got that set up. We now need a scheduled meeting that we can go to the room and get alerted for. So let's just drop in a meeting invite to this uh, meeting room too. Now remember, you, you've got up to 10 minutes now. That's the configuration I've said. So if I haven't checked in by, say, uh, 1440, 1456, then it would re automatically release the room. So my rooms are set up to obviously auto accept all these meeting invites. So that will appear in our screen in a second now. And as you can see, we've got some new groupings down here as well. So we're showing the uh, group of times available. So previously, it would show the... Um, you know, one to two, two to three, three to four, etc. Now it's showing it's free from two till midnight. So anything in the Microsoft Teams rooms on Android, it shows up that day. So now you can see we've got the invite and it's got a message for check-in. So what happens, watch what happens uh, when I press this now, when I check in. So at the top, just above my head, you can see it now says um, your room reservation has expired. Others are waiting for the room. So this new check-in feature alerts people in the room. It now secures the meeting room for me. So I don't have to worry about uh, room squatting. People just going and taking rooms. I now have that available to me. So that will stay on the screen now for a while. So people are alerted that the room is uh, booked at the next time section. So again, you don't lose your room. All is great. We can then go into the room and have our meeting. So there's some of the new features. Uh, the layout is slightly changing as well. So we'll get some uh, LED bars on the front uh, down the side here. So some of these will, uh, this little layout here will change slightly um, and have a new sort of look and feel. But again, very minor change. Some great features here on the Teams panels, uh, suitable for any space with the neat eight inch neat pad. So what happens if a user does not check in? Well, there's a nice, notification that the user gets on their device. So let's just bring up my phone and you can see here I've got a meeting and you get alerts that since no one checked in, the room has declined the meeting invite. So that means it has freed up that meeting space, meaning the lights go green and everyone can now book that room for a meeting. So really nice feature that Microsoft have included here that it tells the user the room has been cancelled because let's say you decide for, to work from home, 
you probably forget to book that meeting. So by having that check-in reminder, five minutes, 10 minutes, however long you want to give your users, if they don't check in, then the room is lost and someone else can use it. Any questions, let me know below. <laughs>